Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And this is going to be the first video out of a series of videos I'm going to be creating. Um, they're going to be called Quick Tips, um, and they're going to be under five minutes each. And I'm just going to show you some quick tips that I myself learned as I've been working with Adobe Muse, and that will hopefully help you in your design process as well. So this first quick tip is about the page expansion buttons um, that are right up here. And one thing uh, with myself, uh, when I'm designing a website, um, I try to avoid breakpoints as much as I can. Um, they're very useful and they work great when I need you know, fonts smaller on different devices and when I need to arrange things differently on dif different devices. But um, I kind of take the kind of the lazy man approach where if it's already set to 100% width um, and I just resize the browser, then the elements will change on the website. So when I work with Adobe Muse, uh, we have this button here that says click to allow page to expand. Now I'm going to show you why this is important or how we're going to use it in this video tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is create uh, three boxes or three rectangles and I'm just going to place them like so. So I'll just copy and paste and then copy and paste. All right. So what I'm going to do is just make them fill the entire uh, page window here and now I'm going to fill these rectangles with images so I'll go to fill add image and I'll just select some images that I have here and I'll scale to fill position it in the center fill add image and we'll do this one here scale to fill position it in the center and I'll go to fill add image and we'll use let's see this one here and scale to fill and position it in the center. All right, so I have three images here. So if I preview this in the browser, I'll go to file preview page in browser. And I have these elements here. If I shrink the browser, we can see they are responsive, but they're not sticking to the, to the right side or the left side here. Uh, what I would like is for these images to go across the entire website. And when I made the browser smaller, that these images um, stay 100% width within the browser, but the, that they do become responsive. So to do that, all we have to do is click on this button here that says click to allow page to expand. And now if we preview the website again, we can see that these elements are fitting across the entire browser. Um, it's just a quick tip and I find it really useful and I can add text over these images and just have a fully responsive site uh, where elements stick to the left and the right and the images or the elements are responsive within the website. So if I click on each of these uh, rectangles and I go to resize, we can see it says responsive width. So this actually changes uh, size uh, as I shrink down, as I shrink the browser. So, so the element um, is responsive. And you can say responsive width and height. And I went to preview site and browser. But as we can see, this element actually gets smaller in height as well. So it actually retains its proportions and it gets smaller in width and height. If I wanted to, I could do that for these two as well and just say responsive width and height and take a look at the website. So we can see we have a fully responsive width and height um, website or these elements are fully responsive and they change width and height as I change the size of the browser. Uh, so that's it for this quick tip. Uh, there will be many more videos like this. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.